We're halfway through the year and we've played lots of new games so far, but which ones might sneak their way into our top 50 of all time? Hi, I'm Julian and this is Libby and we are from Box Meeples. You can find us right here on YouTube and also on Instagram and Twitter. So yeah, we've, we've managed to play quite a lot of new games uh, in the last sort of six months. And last year we did a, a top 20. Yeah, I feel like we've played so many games we should maybe increase that a little bit. So maybe this year we'll do a top 50. Okay, so if we're doing an extra 30, it's like <laughs> it's there's, there's, gonna, there's likely there's going to be some new games on this list. So today we're going to talk about yeah the games we played that we think were so good they're going to be in that top 50. Yeah, although I think mine, I sort of thought of it in terms of would they be as good as the ones, do I like them as much as the ones that were in my top 20 right. last year? So I didn't really think, oh yeah, they might make it in 49 because I don't know what else to make. I sort of tried to think of it like, do I like them as much as my top 20 that we had? So okay. this should be on a par. Right. Uh, so would you like to go first or? You can go first. Well, I think it's going to be as no surprise to anyone that on my list is going to be the most played game I've ever played, even though I've only had it for three or four months. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're, we're, we're talking Root. You have played a lot on the app as well as in uh, yes. cardboard as well. So, um, yeah, in case you haven't seen, you, you started this, this is all your fault. <laughs> uh, you got me Root for my birthday. Actually, I got it just before my birthday. Yeah. Um, and then you knew I liked it from the first time I played it and got me all the remaining expansions. I've since got the Marauders expansion. I've got the Hylings. I've, I've got 3D printed models for all the buildings. They're all so painted. Flashy in the corner. Th like that happened <laughs> on a birthday night out. Um, so yeah, I love Root. I, I play it every day. You do. Uh, yeah. On the app. And I've said in the past that using the app is a great way of learning how to play mm -hmm. it. And that's the reason I hadn't played it up until now. I wasn't really ready for it. It came at the right time in my life. Uh, I had to, you know, get over the fact you're going to lose a lot when you play Root because, understandably, people get put off because of the big barrier to entry, and there is. There's, there's, I don't yeah, think there's a way of getting around that. I feel like for base game, you kind of, you need to play once of each of the factions to understand what everyone's doing, how their goals work, how they interact with each other and how one type of group of you know bird cat whichever is going to stop the other one from winning you kind of need to have played them to be able to get to grips with that so it's like instead of having that first game oh we'll play the first one and then we'll be good to go after we've played that well with root you kind of need to play the four games and then you're good to go um but i think it's worth the effort yeah definitely and, yeah and then it's once some chucks and expansions you've hopefully <laughs> learned to faction after you deal with those um yeah, we, we have a board game group we go to every week on a Sunday and more often than not, playing Root, we suggested. Not just by me, by others too. Oh, yes, and um, <laughs> yeah, I've got the stickers on my meeples. I've gone all out Root and yeah. you know, it, that's that's kind of a, a reflection of my, of my love for it. So it won't be a shock to anyone <laughs> that that'll be somewhere in my top 50. Yeah. You can guess it's going to be pretty high. I think it's going to be in the top five at least. So yeah, Root, we'll, yeah. I'll be talking about Root at the end of the year when we drive off. Oh, we, I mean, we do have another, you know, half a year to go. You might find a new love. I might find 50 games I prefer more than Root <laughs> in the next sort of six months. Who knows? Who knows? Um, my number one is one that I've also played um, on, well, not on an app, on BGA a lot. We don't actually have a physical copy, but I do want one. Um, and it's a quick, easy, simple game that is just adorable because dinosaurs, <laughs> Draftosaurus, is just cute and it's just so, you just want to chill, you don't want to have to over analyse, I mean yes you can stop your opponent from getting the colour that they need and things like that in there, so there, there is some thinking to be done as to where to best place your little dinos, but um, it's just such a relaxing, easy to table play, or you know, easy to app too. Um, well, yeah, it's it's shocking how much I know you like Draftosaurus, and I think it, probably on BGA it's your most played game. Of the list, when I'm going through as to which games we've played um, that were new to me this year that I might add on, 
it does hit the most played, but that is because of BGA. Um, I think at any given point on BGA, you've got a game of Arnak on the yeah. go and you've got a game of Draftosaurus on the go. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, um, I'm, not, I'm more surprised the fact we don't actually own it. Uh, in fact, we came very close to, to buying it the other day, um, but then missed our opportunity to. So. Yeah, and, and the thing is, I've already bought a lot of games this month and I try to budget myself from not going ridiculously crazy on the game buying. Um, and we have got a holiday coming up, so I had to be very yes. sensible. But yeah, it is there and uh, in a basket. And then I also have some expansions for it in a basket. <laughs> I think by yeah. the time we do our top 50 list, you'll be able to hold it up to camera. Yeah. yeah. So uh, at some yeah. point, draft a source, all the draft a source of the last shelf. <laughs> I'm reasonably sure about. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to now say a game, another game you bought me. Well, oh, I'm just great by You are so generous. Uh, we got this for Christmas, and I, I was tempted with the idea of having it on the list last year because I knew I'd like it, but I hadn't played it, so that right. felt a bit silly to say this is my favourite board game, but I haven't played it. I might do that later. Oops. <laughs> I have since played it, though. Um, and, um, yeah, so it's Eclipse. Yeah, amazing game. We, yeah. we again, at the board game group, we have a, a, someone who likes it as much as, as we do and is eager to play it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's a bit of a mission getting into this, uh, kind of a bit of a space mission, really. <laughs> getting into the amount of time we have. We have th about three and a half hours. Um, we've, we've finished it. We've played the it twice that we've done. in yeah. that. Uh, we played it, I was, uh, you know, played it two-player. It's not as good two-player, but we played it with a multiplayer count. Every time it's been enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and the times that we have played it in our gaming group, there's always been at least one new player to the table. Yeah. So that does add a little bit of time to it. But. What's helped is the, the genius box organisation of mm. it. You're just plonking out uh, the player boards and you're, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, and, and you can play it in various ways. You don't. It's, it's kind of like my why well, I like Scythe. You don't have to be confrontational if you don't want to be. You can just explore. Uh, it suits different people, player style, and yeah, every time. Yeah, last time I think I was the planty aliens. I yeah. wasn't supposed to go out fighting. I mean, I did anyway, but I wasn't supposed to. And uh, you, had, you had an encounter with not the Borg, because it's not Star Trek, obviously. Oh, that was in the other game. And, yeah. uh, oh, I was ruined. I, I like games that <laughs> present those memories, so those kind of thematic moments, uh, those exciting moments of tension where everyone's getting involved in the game, and I think that's always a good sign of how much I enjoy a game. Yeah, I was doing well in that game, and and then everyone sort of realised, oh, Libby's not played before, she's doing okay. So then it, it sort of, the Borg and one of the other factions thought, we'll, we'll knock her well, down a peg or two, you, shall we? <laughs> you, thought, you fought the Borg and the Borg won. Yeah. So yeah. there were three boxes stacked up. Yeah, it was a not a wise choice. No, but amazing game, fun, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Um, my next on my list won't be a surprise to you. I f missed it on the Kickstarter to start with. I've made up for it on the reprint. It's the Great Ball. Um, yeah, I just yeah. I'm, I'm Awakening Realms are so good at games, I love them. Um, we've played it a couple of different friends' mm -hmm. copies. One has the Meeple version, one has the miniature version, and just such a lot going on. I love how it sort of splits into this sort of Euro style one side whilst you're prepping, and then you've got the sort of fighty bit once mm -hmm. you get to the wall and different things going on. You really maxed out the combos on one of them. Yes, I, I had an archer general, I think it is, and, and I managed to combine that with having basically as many archers on the wall as I could get away with. Yeah, you were just flying around the board with points. It was, it, yeah. it was crazy. You get a point for this and you get a point for that. And because I've done that, I've got a point for this. <laughs> I, I like everything's clicked together like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, really um, And yeah, you've gone all out on, on that. I have, yeah. Yeah, I've even gone for the old, um, oh gosh, what's the it The sun drop. The sun drop, yeah. 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 It's, it's going to look, yeah. it's going to get a lot of plays because... Uh, we, we really enjoyed Nemesis, obviously, which was an Awakened Worlds game, but of all the Awakened Worlds games I've played, uh, I think that's my favourite one. Oh, so, surprising. Cause it's, yeah. Yeah. The I, artwork I, I, is gorgeous. Yeah, I just really love that style. I, I love Nemesis, don't get me wrong, but times yeah. you've played that uh, have, been, have been great. Been really good, yeah. So I'm very excited for that one. Um, I don't think it's going to arrive this year, but you know it is out i have played it several times so it does legitimately belong on our list well if we're predicting what's going to be on future list i'm hoping 
a year from now, so not this year, Tamashi is going to be on my list um, because that's another Wake Up Arms game we've got yes, coming at some yeah, point. Yeah, that is going to be fun. Uh, and I'm, I've got high hopes for that. But I think on my list this year is going to be Sleeping Gods. We had such a good play of that, didn't we? It was a lot of fun. Um, it was just, I mean, we've barely scratched the surface, I feel, of yeah. that there's so many more places to explore and things. So, yeah. We, um, we very much invested in it. So we got it for Christmas last year and then we played it uh, at the exclusion of all other games for about, I think it's just over a week, maybe two weeks, playing it for a good weeks. two hours every day. Yeah. We played 20 hours, 20 plus hours on, on a, a finished okay. the campaign. Um, and I've often said I really love narrative games. Um, you know, for those who don't know, I've, I came from a background playing narrative-based video games. So to find an experience that truly replicated kind of those exploration style games I enjoyed so much on a board game and to be able to play it with you was a really special experience for me um, and you know I like to think of myself as quite a storyteller when it comes to the narrative I do the accents and um, I felt you know it, even now um, going back to what I was saying about you know, ex moments and experiences there's bits that you know we, we tell we, we tell, tell people about that as if it was like a film or like a tv series just because it felt really immersive it's so dramatic yeah i mean now you're talking about it now and all i've got is this little sailor tune in my head because at one point we picked up a maddening song, maddening song. and then whenever anything came up about it somebody would start singing like sailor jaunty sea shanty songs yeah. <laughs> we got we got quite attached to our characters i mean yeah yeah the wayfair was very much a part of our crew and mm -hmm. yeah that had yeah, some, it was fun. That's some emotional resonance as the, as the game <laughs> went on um and as much as I enjoyed it, I'm pleased we've taken a break from it. We haven't got the, the sequel. We didn't get the, the, the air one because... I feel that might be foolish of us. <laughs> well, I think there's a lot more... that one as well, aren't we? There's a lot more in Sleeping Gods to play. There's a, there's a certain other playthrough. Oh, um, at And least. we are positioned to get the true ending next time we play, which I'm really excited about. Uh, I know it's going to mm. be probably 15 hours to get to that point <laughs> for the next one. Uh, but I'm really excited to see how it's meant to finish. Um, yeah. And thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, it's one it was of my, good. my favourite board game kind of experiences, and particularly because I shared it with you. I think it'll probably might make my top fifty, um, but it might not make my top sort of ten, twenty, purely because I'm not as used to you as this sort of sprawling story that you would get in like a mm -hmm. video game when you stop, you pause, and then off you go to bed, and then you pick up the game the next day. I it and and probably the next game will be better because I'll be more used to that. But yeah. I I I felt like I didn't want to stop because I hadn't got to a natural stopping point, and obviously there isn't one. <laughs> no. Um, so I found that like a bit of a new experience to me that I I never like to leave a game unfinished, mm. and it felt like I was doing that whenever we needed to take a pause from it so um, that element of it I yeah, need other, to get a bit more used to other campaign games kind of have natural like for pandemic for example have natural yeah. breaks yeah. whereas this doesn't it's just you to keep on exploring it. yeah which for you is like I perfect to what you're used to that. but for me that was a bit a bit new and different so. and I think where it falls on my eventual list ultimately it's whether you enjoy the experience or if you enjoy the game because yes loved the experience and I'm going to enjoy it the next time I play but I know after that we're not going to play it again not for a long time because we would have had everything every new kind of experience from it at that point yeah so I suppose how long will it stay up there so I think yeah, it's, going to, yeah. it's going to enter high then maybe slip down over the years yeah but it'll be in there this year. Mm. another one that will probably be in there for me is Botoku um, I absolutely adore this game the artwork is gorgeous again um, and I feel like there's so many different ways to score points to do different things that when you play things are always going to be a bit different you might have different starting objectives that will help you sort of guide the way as to what path you're going to take are you going to get a load of dragonflies and souls together are you going to go on a long path and up to the Tory gate are you going to get loads of yokai and do lots of things there's so many different options of best buildings mm -hmm. to get that each play is going to be a bit different and we love the theme and yeah that sort of styling it looks, just it looks gorgeous it looks beautiful on the table and, and it's it you know we've, we've said in the past how it's slightly trickier to get in it seems a bit daunting it really isn't but then once you get into it you realize that kind of 
complexity is acquired to give it the diversity that it has. There's yeah. so many different approaches you can take yeah. uh, that I don't see in other kind of games like that. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's so much more than a worker placement. There's so many things to think about and so many different approaches you can take. And that's what's good about the game is until you then finish, you don't completely know who's going to win. And it's always <laughs> been really close. It has been it. really close when we've played it, yeah. And I, I really like that element of I really want to go to this spot but I want you to have gone to it first. <laughs> so you're kind of playing cat and mouse with each other as to who's going to go where. Or you need to do something else before you can then place your die in a different area because you want to have sort of got something first. But then you're really worried that they're going to jump in there and take the one spot that you really need. So that element of yeah. it is quite exciting um, and just gives you, yeah, that sort of... What are you going to do? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of cat and mouse, isn't it? It's, yeah, it is. It is. Good. Well, my next choice, I once went in the shop. Oh, you just once went to a shop, did you? Went, just uh, once in your life. It was a member mm, occasion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because we were in the shop and you said, do you want to go halves on this game? Oh, yeah. I remember uh, this I story. Like, I, don't, I don't know what that is. Um, it's quite expensive. I'd rather find out about it first. I, I, no, I don't. I mean, we just bought a load of games at the time. And I was like, no, no, it's a really good game. Everyone's talking about it. Tom, yeah. Tom Vassell said it's his number one. I think I told you that in the shop. I, I was wrong. Yeah. I was wrong. Yeah. We came home, we watched the review, and I was like, yeah, let's get back in the car and go and buy that game. By that point, it was sold out. It was sold out everywhere. And it yeah. wasn't until the UK Games Expo that you managed to buy Ark Nova. And now I've fallen in love with it, and I can't realise how wrong I was before <laughs> by not wanting to get it. We could have played it for the last six months. Yep. Ark Nova is superb. Yeah, we're really loving it. Um, it's it's we, we often say on this, when we talk about games, how eager we are to play it again. I would play that straight away pretty much any time you suggest it. Yeah, it's one of those things, you like, you know a game is good and it's like great for you and it's going to make like your top 10, your top 20 or whatever. When you just look at the box and you're like, oh, can I get that to the table now? Yeah. Like, that's the feeling we played that you it, get from that. We played it once, and, and it is a bit of a bumpy first game. There's quite a lot to take in. Not particularly complicated, just lots of no, nuances. No, no, no. Just, and, and just, you know, getting used to the symbology and all those kind of bits and bobs. But we, um, we but played it, it's and then... It's smooth. By the yeah. time, it, like, the three quarters of the way in, you're just like, oh, my gosh, this game's so smooth, because you've, you've realised all those yeah. things, and you know what's going on, and it's like, oh... Yes. I see what's going on here. But we played it and we went to start putting it away and I said, let's just leave it out. We were playing it tomorrow and we did. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And very keen to play it again. Um, <laughs> I'm slightly annoyed we went to Gen Con because they, were, they have an extra map pack. And I was like, oh, well, how do we get, how do you get someone to get us that? <laughs> because I, I just want all the stuff for it. I know an expansion's already been kind of alluded to. Yes, it has. Yes, we'll it be has. We'll be getting that. Oh, we'll be all in on this. Yeah, yeah. I'm really hoping they'll be at Essen and we maybe can sort of either sneak our way over to Germany or get some people to bring some things back, either it's, or. It's just, you know, it's so many clever things, you know, and I know people have said, oh, I'll just borrow some other games. I accept that, but the way they work together is brilliant. It does not in any way feel like a mishmash, no. which when you hear people say, oh, you know, the scoring's like Raj, the Ganges, oh, like, yeah, this card element's like civilization, and oh, this element's like such and such. And when people say things like that, you kind of think, oh, right, it's just some sort of mishmash. Like Frankenstein never... wants to have all going. But... Exactly. And it's so smooth. It's so far from a mishmash. Yeah. It's, it just yeah, feels all great. like it should have been. And yeah. you know, if you say, oh, if you like that, you should play this game. I'm fine just playing Art Nova. <laughs> I could play that, but then I could also just play Art Nova. Yeah. And yeah. I'd be happy doing that. And, and every time we've played, our zoos and things and our scoring objectives have been completely different. So... Each time it is a whole new game. You know, one time I've got a, a monkey farm, <laughs> basically. Um, uh, another time you were looking for scavengers and I just had a, a load of Australian yeah. deer, basically. Or, you know, herding c cattle and yeah. things. You know, just different every single time. So that's There's great. lots of different approaches you can do on how you play things. And there's, do you risk, you know, keeping hold of a good card and on the hope that you'll be able to play it soon and but that's taking up space in the air. So, so many yeah. different things and yeah, yeah. eager to play the game. So. Yeah. And the more you play it's like, oh right, yeah, I know that I'm gonna want to have that mm. um because that's key to ha to sort of build on some other things. And so you get and you think, oh actually this game 
I'm gonna pick up some extra of that or I'll flip this card and get that powered first and you learn so much more as you're going along or want to try different techniques yeah really good really good so you can tell that that might make mine too might make your list as but, well but you know in the interest of having something different <laughs> <laughs> on my list yes yeah, so I'm saying um, 10 games I'm just 9 yeah. <laughs> um, I played at UK Games Expo where we both played in fact Encyclopedia yes by Holy Grail Games mm -hmm. um, and had a great time. Um, I think Alex from Board Game Co has a strap line on one of his videos for it saying what I wanted Wingspan to be, okay, yeah. which is interesting. Um, but I just, I just really loved it. You're this researcher, you're going out trying to get all this information for the king or the queen I can't yeah. remember the story exactly but you've got to go out and you've got to find these animals you ideally want them to have similar traits or similar areas and so then you've got to sort of add them to your notebook essentially before you can then publish these works and and there are some people will play it and you're sort of dripping in a few points here and a few points there and a, you know tick 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 along as you go along the game and then other players are maybe sort of really trying to pile things up to work mm -hmm. together to do one big research book at the end and then just all of a sudden they're sort of leaping, leaping around. around the board and and you just think oh my gosh where's that come from <laughs> my, favorite, my favorite part of the game is the dice pool because you i think when you first play it you think these are my dice yeah but they're really not. They're, they're a pool of dice and some are in front of you. But the key ones are the one in front of you, but not because you're going to use them. You've got to kind of make other people want the ones in front of you because then you're going to get a bonus. Meanwhile, you don't want them to take the ones you desperately need. So you're trying, trying yeah. to, you know, almost bluff your way into convincing <laughs> the others to take the certain dice so you can reserve your killer moves to, for going there. And, um, yeah. Yeah, I really like the idea that you are creating this encyclopedia. The art is lovely. It looks it? exactly like, you know, if you say, oh, I saw this bird in an encyclopedia, that mm. is how it, the cards look, isn't it? Like, just textbook. It's, well, encyclopedia. It's encyclopedia. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, um, yeah, it feels lavish. It feels mm. like a... It's not a short game. It feels like an event game, you know, and... and it's there's so many nice bits of it that all much like art over really intertwine mm. to make a really fun experience. Yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. So um, I think f f that it, the Kickstarter might be fulfilling soon unless it was delayed. I'm not sure on that, but um, recently retailers have sort of said November -y time. So, so it could be here in time for yeah. Might get another play <laughs> before Christmas. You never know. Well, so well, that would be good. Well, what about the expo? Um, a surprise game. I didn't know. I was going to enjoy so much uh, yeah. was First Rat and I heard about this on the Shut Up and Sit Down live recording and then the next day I saw it on the game floor and I said well they, they really enjoyed it let's give it a go um, and I think it's telling uh, I've said this in the past but everyone we played it with it was, it was Libby and I and then two others all of us so the three different groups all bought a copy and it yeah. sold out by the end of day two it would have been yeah I think we brought the like second to last copy that they had so yeah. And, and it, thematically it's lovely it's the idea of rats just want to go to space because oh. they've heard it's made of cheese I mean rat <laughs> and it's, it's so adorable uh, someone said it's like steaks and others for adults I can kind of see the logic of that because you are trying to race up the board mm. but it's it's so much it's more than so that. not yeah no it's so much more involved it's, than saying that like I think associating it with snakes and ladders like makes it feel like it's more of a like an entry or kids game no, or something and it, it's it, just so much more exciting it's it's like those ratchet games but with a reset yeah so and it, what's clever about it apart from you know a few elements at the beginning there's no luck involved it's no. all player skill and determining where you're going to go in relation to everyone else because as you progress along the board on this one-way system until you leap back where other people are, you need to work out, okay, well, they're now there. Is it worth me sacrificing a piece of cheese to do what I wanted to, or do I just adjust my plan accordingly? I mean, and I'm never giving away my cheese unless I absolutely have to. Well, I'm intent to get to the moon because it's all made of cheese. <laughs> and um, there's different approaches you can take. I mean, we've, we played it where someone just kept on doing orbits at the bottom and they did quite well. You can just race up the track and go all out, getting your rat to the moon, or you can just 
try and just light your way and, and create a kind of rat based yeah or just keep getting cheese from everyone and handing yeah. the cheese for loads of points it's speedy yeah. it's quick it's a, it it's, it's a little bit longer than a filler game it's not going to be your main event if you go to a board game night but it's going to be a fun sort of hour hour and a half everyone gets involved it seems to take as long for more people as it does for shorter people uh, it just it just just fun it's just a fun yeah, a it's fun. a fun game um, um one of those that i think you can introduce to a lot of different types of people like you know it, it's fun for us as gamers mm-hmm. but i don't think it's impossible for people that don't often play games so. no, and quick to explain yeah yeah so uh, yeah, yeah a lot of fun I'm, it, I'm excited to get into some of the sort of extra bits where they get their backpacks on and yeah get the super super mats yeah because they've been reading comic books and they want to emulate superheroes <laughs> nice it's nice little things like that I, I, it's I kind cute. Of like. yeah i mean i think pegasus spiel did such a great job on that yeah yeah and uh, I think it's going to be in people's game of the year, and it, kind of unexpectedly. I don't think people really expected a lot from it, but yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's so fun. It is so much fun. Now, one that I'm not sure how fun it is because I haven't played it, but it is here, and I am reading through the rule book, and I have got all the pieces out, and it does look great. So I, it might make the list, but I haven't actually played it yet. Okay, so this is the reason you haven't got Draft of Sorrows, because you've got... Because I've got the Ever Rain and everything that comes with it. You've got the Everything Rain. <laughs> I have got the Everything Rain, yeah. Yeah, and it took a while, because I it was one of those that I wished that I'd backed, um, and then I didn't, and then I found a pre-order, but then the company went bust, so then I had to find a new pre-order. <laughs> um, so it, it's been a while sorting this one out, and then I've recently managed to get pretty much all of the expansions for it which has been tricky <laughs> it's been tricky but so i'm i'm super hoping that all that hard work is going to be worthwhile and i'm going to absolutely love it i, I like, think all the signs are going to say you know you never quite know how these things are going to play out mm-hmm. literally um but all the signs suggest it's going to be everything you want in the game the theme is one you love yeah the miniatures look lovely. But you're obviously, you're talking earlier about Awakened Realm style miniatures. This has got such amazing. The miniatures. ships look great. Yeah. It's it's narrative, which is gonna satisfy <laughs> satisfy me. You, yeah. Well, uh, I love narrative things as well, and you know, as long as it's, you know, the theme and the look of it and stuff that always brings the gameplay together. I kind of like the both if we can. But yeah. yeah. So I think. Yeah. Yeah. Can you can you get learning the rules so yeah. we, we can play it. The thing is, well, it's one of those rule books where you can't sort of like, here's the setup, right, okay, part one of the turn, you'll do this, 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 or yeah. this, and then we can sort of play and learn as we go along. It's one of those where you need to have read everything because there's all these choices and things that you can do. So until you know everything, you can't really start anything. So, um, yeah, and there's, there's no Rodney Smith, so I need to have to do it myself. Rodney, if you're listening, anytime, anytime, just just private messages and have a rain play. Yeah, a personal <laughs> tutorial from, from Rodney would, would really help us out here. Uh, so, yeah, that, so that's that's ten games. It is, yeah. So we'll see what happens by the time we get to sort of December, January time when we start doing our uh, top fifty this year. Yeah. So we, we, um, we've played a lot more games than we had. We've been had very busy months, and uh, we've been very fortunate to be able to play a, a huge variety of different games. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I think we've played somewhere in the region of 350 different games so far this wow. year. So, so, yeah. A one in three chance that they're yeah. going to make our, well, one in, one in six, if they're going to make our top 50. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, if you've enjoyed what we've talked about, please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notifications of when we have new videos up so you don't miss anything. And, and well, please tell us if there's any other games based on these that we should be playing. We've still got six months to go before we're making this conclusive list that can't ever be changed and we must stick with it. <laughs> yeah, so you best suggest some good stuff. <laughs> yeah, so let us know if there's any games you should be playing or hopefully maybe we've mentioned some games that's kind of if you're keen to play by the end of the year. Please do yeah, let us know. We'd love to know, yeah. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye.